Hello, doodle bugs. My name is Mary, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of my tiny, tiny sketchbook. I just got back from a trip to Europe, and I filled up this little guy. And I know this is very different from what I normally do. So if you're wanting to see a time lapse video, you can go ahead and click here and watch a random video. Otherwise, buckle up for what is pretty much glorified vacation photos. Enjoy. So this is an itty bitty sketchbook from Moleskeen about the size of my hand, it's perfect for travel. So I was at LAX and this girl was sitting across from me while we were waiting for the plane and the way she sat, her toes were pointing away from each other, which I thought was really cool. On the airplane, I got a lot of drawing done and sometimes you don't know what you wanna draw so I just start either with random doodles or this started as a face that turned into a girl that turned into this beautiful piece of literature that captures the human condition. On the other side, I was working on character designs for a comic book testing out different shapes and sizes. That's the beauty of sketchbooks. You can throw out those ideas and you have it um, contained almost like in a scrapbook form. So you can go back to it a few days or a few weeks or even a few years later. A lot of, lot of doodles, a lot of writing from the airplane. Later on on the airplane, I ended up waking up coming to, I had no idea what to draw. So I went on my phone and I pulled up my text messages and I just grabbed a sentence and used that as a leaping off point leaping off point. If you're ever bored and you want to draw, but you have no idea what to draw, it's good to come up with little games and little ideas of just forcing an idea out of you. So I ended up in Paris first. I was stalking Dante and Pete on the nice Peter tour and we ended up in a cafe. Little known fact, Paris has a cafe epidemic going on. And this dude was sitting there. He was so beautiful, eating his lunch, drinking his wine, his liver spots. And he was pulling out this little tiny book every now and then and writing in it. I would like to think he was writing about me as I was drawing him. I think we're connected. This is a sketch that I did along the Seine River near the venue the guys were playing at. There are these cafes and bars. I love these two people. Uh, the sketching people, being natural in real life can really help bring a variety, uh, a change to what you draw. A lot of times I feel like as artists, we like to draw people posing and looking really cool, which is fun. There's some of those drawings in this book, but when you capture people doing natural things, interacting with their food or their drink or their phone and other people and making that eye contact, you get very original poses that can feel fresh. But speaking of poses, poses are fun. This is my friend Sulai. I love her hair. I love what her hair does and the shape it makes. And I also love doing pen sketches. Uh, there's something about just that, the, the darkness of the pen. You can see all the little scribbly, scribbly lines. At the Charles de Gaulle airport, there's a lot of rabbits, I noticed, running through the fields and going across the tarmac. So I ended up in Dresden. My little brother lives in Dresden. He's going to university and we we're hanging out in one of the study areas so I could use the Wi-Fi. I love these plants. They're these tropical palmy indoor plants that must have been there for a really long time. They're growing up at the window like they're trying to escape. Very quick, rough sketch, nothing really detailed. This was really just capturing the shape, the silhouette. Beer garden drawings, a uh, bicycle, glass of beer, working more on that detail and the light and the shapes. I was giving my brother a little rundown on how to draw hands, uh, working from basic shapes and then putting in the skeleton and the joints and fleshing it out, <laughs> fleshing it out. We ended up going swimming in Dresden. I know I'm not the only one who knows that there's something swimming underneath you when you're in open water. There's always something underneath you, always. There's a page missing here. Story about that, we were in Amsterdam at the final Nice Peter show and a couple came up and said hi and apparently they had met last year at the Nice Peter show and got to know each other and we're now dating. And so they brought vinyl records for us as little gifts and I felt like I should tear out some sketchbook pages and give those to them. This is a landscape of Dresden. My brother's apartment looks out over the city. Cityscapes are not something that I have a lot of experience with. They're very intimidating because there's a lot of information, a lot of detail, but too much detail can ruin things. The trick to perspective and having things in the foreground and things in the background and the distance is that everything in the foreground is gonna be more detailed. And as you get farther and farther back, the detail gets lost. These square windows become dots and the buildings become blobs rather than neat little boxes. I, I'm actually kind of proud of this sketch. It was a 
you know, something I don't normally do. At some point on this trip, I decided if ever I was at a loss for drawing, I would just do characters. This is kind of based on me after a night of dancing techno sweats. But I, yeah, I was just kind of throwing out random characters and playing around with shapes and faces, different body types, like this kid, very boxy kid with a spray can. There's a lot of graffiti in Dresden and in Berlin. Berlin, they have a thing about walls. Love this character. Says he died doing his two favorite things. He's shooting a gun and eating ice cream. I'd like to make a comic book about him maybe, someday. I don't know. At some point I decided I was gonna design fashion. This is channeling Edward Gorey a little bit with the hat of despair, the shorts of contempt, the scarf of apathy. This fall, new fashion by Mary Doodles. Not available in all dimensions. This was in Berlin. She had a bicycle and a striped top. I like stripes. This was an interesting dude. He had like dreads and a ponytail and his dog had one sock and he went in to get a beer. So the dog came over to me and like just looked at me, didn't lick me or anything, but he just sat there and just gave me eyeballs and then walked off. It was great. It was the best time of my life. Sometimes the tricky part about spying on people and drawing them is that they move and they walk away and you don't finish. I also tend to not fill full pages. Not usual, that's not something I do. Although this bird, I did take up a whole page because he was terrifying. He tried to eat my breakfast. Graffiti touring in Berlin was amazing. There's a company, I think I'll put a link in the description below. If you ever find yourself in Berlin, they do tours of all the graffiti and they give you a rundown on the history. And then at the end, you get to make your own. I brought this back from Berlin. You get to make your own template and make your own spray paint graffiti on a piece of cardboard. So I was playing around with how to turn this cat character thing into a template. That was not easy. I think that was my favorite part of Berlin though, was walking around and watching what other artists put up on walls. Again, Berlin, walls. They have a beautiful relationship with them. Now they just paint and put art on it. This guy's posture was amazing. He biked by on his phone. I saw him for maybe three seconds in my entire life and I had to draw him. As well as this other dude at the airport. He was so cool. He was just one of those people that he belongs in a museum. I, you can't touch him, you can't talk to him. He's just so cool looking, Blah. I got a little bonus book here. In Dresden, while my brother was at work, I got locked out of his apartment. And lo and behold, I did not have any of my sketchbooks or pens on me, so I ended up buying a new little book and a pen and I sat down in the main street area and I started sketching the other tourists who are wandering around. It's hard when you're drawing people who are just walking by, you gotta go quick. I, I think that's a good exercise because you will get the basic shapes and the gestures. You start focusing on what matters. You know, like this woman, the way her arms are behind her back and her sloped posture. And this guy, I think he was the only one who was sitting still. He was playing accordion for coins and there's this church in the background is a really awesome image. This dude was so beautiful. He had an Adventure Time hat on and he's just wandering around looking at everything like he's in awe. And then there's this kid who was taking photos <laughs> and he decided, this, he sat down first and was getting the right angle and then he decided to just lay down and he laid there for the longest time until his mom came and yelled at him. And finally, this woman, she had the, a complete mom look, but uh, she had this tattoo on her ankle. It was very interesting, very fun to spy on people. And that wraps up the sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're another artist, I hope it gave you some inspiration in your own sketches and drawings, or at the very least entertained you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you wanna see more sketchbookery tours? Cause I got a lot of sketchbooks. If not, let me know, be honest. I'll bring you more time-lapse videos next week, of course. So if there's anything you wanna see me draw or paint, leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, bye.